All right, guys, and we're back. Uh, continued analysis of Nathan Hale uh, versus Oak Hill Academy. It looks like they're showing us a little montage of what Michael Porter Jr. has done so far today. A uh, pull-up jumper right here. Nice crossover, nice spin. When I first saw this play, I thought it was a foul, but, you know, obviously seeing it again, and you see that it wasn't. Oh uh, yeah, kid doesn't look like he's only two twelve. He looks like he's a, he's a good two thirty. Um, he doesn't look frail. Oh, uh, you know, normally guys who are tall and long they can look a little frail, but he doesn't look that way at all. Um, obviously you know he'll continue to get stronger, but I think he can get away with playing at about two fifteen, two twenty, even at the small forward position because his game is not about bully ball anyway. It's, it he, it is a finesse game, but he has some power in it as well. So anyway, Billy Preston in the corner. Oh, see, that's a tough shot. Yeah, that's a tough shot. I don't think that um, that, uh, that um, Steve Smith would want him uh, shooting that shot. That was a tough one. But here's Jonte Porter. Nice pass. Michael gets fouled. He's going to the line. Well, yes, uh, I like, like I said, I like Jonte's game. Um, you look under... Porter's eye, too. Looks like he may have gotten elbowed or something. But um, I like Jonte Porter's game. Um, he's got the ability to stretch the floor. He can he can put the ball on the floor. Uh, he can put it down and, you know, get to the basket uh, as well. So we got Porter at the line. 33-34 game. Oak Hill is still, uh, still leading, but Nathan Hale has, you know, played better and they're back in it. and Tie game now. So here we're going the other way. Now, I'm not sure you see at the bottom of your screen. I'm not sure if Jonte Porter is really a, a center, though. This is the, the big man earlier that I was talking about, how I was saying he was the only physical big man that uh, big man that Oak Hill had played. And as you see, a, a nice a mix of power and finesse there on their block. Yep, they, there, there it is again. Nathan Hale's guards over dribbling leads to a turnover. I think... I know Michael Porter Jr. wanted to get positioned in the post, but you might have to talk to Brandon Roy about just going to get the ball because, um, you know, the guards are obviously having issues with uh, Oak Hill's pressure. That's a good defense. Bad shot by the big man. Out in transition. Uh, see another questionable decision by Nathan Hale guard. Luckily, uh, Michael Porter Jr. was there to clean it up. Porter's got 18. Like I said, he's, he may need 35 to 40 for them to win this game. Another tough shot by Oak Hill. If he's not going to hustle back, you got to run it up the court. I said earlier I wasn't crazy about transition threes like that, but now they've got the momentum, uh, and they took took a three-point lead. I think if you uh, – wow, this kid is only a two-star. Surprised by that. Keegan Crosby. Surprise, he's only a two star. The kid's got game. Nice mid range pull up. No good. Think of Nathan Hill scores here. You got to get a timeout. See, that that is the kind of stuff that I'm saying. Like, just questionable decisions by these Nathan Hill guards. Nice drive by Billy Preston. He wanted the foul. Doesn't get it. And Brandon Roy is going to get a timeout here. And I'm assuming he's going to say something to these Nathan Hill guards about the bad shot selection and the bad decision making. But. Uh, Oak Hill still has the uh, trails by one, and um, next part of this video will be uploaded soon. Stay tuned.